Hello everyone, this is Kobe Sarial and today we will be talking about what I wear and bring when I hike Mount Pulag because your hike starts here. The first time I did Mount Pulag was in 1997. That's me together with my three older brothers. And since then, I've climbed Mount Pulag more than a hundred times along the different trails and countless of different situations. Nandiyan yung at the summit waiting for the golden sunrise along the sea of clouds or hiking with the clear weather seeing the majestic mountains of the Cordilleras or at the summit it will be raining and your view is a perfect white view. Wala. Nasa loob ka ng clouds. We also have done Mount Pulag via camping where it's freezing cold or camping and then above you is a sea of stars. Ang ganda. Now, this video is for those of you, especially those who will be climbing Mount Pulag for the first time via the Ambangeg Trail. While the Ambangig Trail is known to be the easiest trail, it is not a walk in the park. You still need to come in prepared. Also, for this mountain or for this trail, you will be spending the night at the homestay near the jump off point. Okay? So we will be talking about what I wear, followed by what's inside my backpack when I hike, among others. We will be starting from top to bottom. Let's go! First thing, bonnet or beanie. Remember, Mount Pulag is known to be a cold mountain. The temperature is around 5 to 10 degrees Celsius, especially if you will be hiking from the months of December to February. You want your bonnet or beanie to cover your ears. Remember to protect your ears, your fingers, and your feet kasi sila ang unang lumalamig. Headlamp. Remember, you will be hiking 12.30 in the morning, so you need light for your trail. Next is your headwear or buff. This one has many usages for your hair, to protect your neck, or to cover your nose. Lalo mabaho yung banyo ron. Next is your dry fit shirt. Your reliable wear for hot or cold hikes. Next would be your windproof jacket. Sometimes this is all you need when you hike Mount Pulag. Next would be your down jacket or base layer. What I have is a down jacket. Most of the time, you will be needing this once you leave the homestay right before your hike. Pago natin to. Uh, usually, ito nawawala eh. So what I do, I put it inside the pocket, zip that, and then wear my down jacket. It will be cold, 12.30 in the morning, 1 a.m. Giginawin ka niyan. But, I'm telling you, once you start walking and once you start hiking, you will be taking this off because it will be hot, it will feel hot, it will be uncomfortable. What you can do before you start walking, pack this, pack it and put it inside your backpack already. So when you start walking, it's na yan. Next is your quick drying pants. Do not wear cotton, do not wear maong, do not wear jeans, and do not wear jogging pants. Wear quick drying pants. Next is your sports socks. Make sure your socks is above the ankle to avoid chafing. Sa akin ang haba eh. Oh, ha, balancing. <laughs> Lastly, and most importantly, is your hiking shoes. Low cut, mid cut, or high cut, everything will be fine. Now, if you do not have one, or you can't afford one yet, we go to the next best thing. That would be your workout shoes or running shoes. Best talaga ang hiking shoes, pero if you don't have one, running shoes or your workout shoes will be fine. Now, lastly, remember, if you haven't worn your shoes for 8 months, 9 months, 10 months, and above, double check on them. Most of the time, if you haven't used them for so long, the sole can be brittle and it may take off, it may peel off when you start walking. You don't want that to happen. 
So that's what I wear when I hike Mount Pulag. For the hike proper, you will be starting 12.30 in the morning, just right after midnight. Sobrang aga. First thing you will be needing is a day hike bag. Usually 30 to 35 liters will be okay. Just make sure that your cold gears, your valuables, your rain gears can fit inside your backpack. Make sure that you will be practicing your double waterproofing. Meaning, if you have a dry sack or a large plastic bag, kasha siya sa loob ng day hike bag mo. So what's inside my day hike bag? First thing is a flag. You know, oh wait, pakita na natin lahat. Yan. Okay, I'm an adventure guide for trail adventures. We lead hikes all around the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao for beginner-friendly hikes and expeditions. We also do international hikes like Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa, Mount Elbrus, the highest mountain in Europe, Jade Mountain in Taiwan, Mount Kinabalu in Malaysia, among other mountains. If you wish to join us on our international or any hikes, just go to our website www.trailadventures.com or message me directly on my social media accounts. Siyempre, we do Mount Pulag every month. Cap! You know, once the sun comes out, it will be hot and you need to protect yourself from the sun. Shades! Being on top of the highest mountain in Luzon means you are exposed to the sun's glare. Base layer or additional jacket or long sleeves. Sometimes when you're at the summit of Mount Pulag waiting for the sunrise, your shirt, your windbreaker, your fleece or down jacket, even your waterproof jacket may not be enough. Paminsan sobrang lamig talaga sa Mount Pulag. You can never can tell. So, still bring an additional layer. Rain jacket, hard shell or raincoat Expect rain even though the forecast says otherwise. Now, just remember, when you put it inside your backpack, it should be easily accessible. Next is waterproof pants. If you have one, well and good. But honestly, personally, I never use a waterproof pants when I hike in the Philippines. I just find it too hot and a bit uncomfortable. Gloves. When I do the Ambangag Trail, I usually don't wear this or di ko naman kailangan. But you can never can tell. Come in prepared because sometimes the temperatures can drop below 0 degrees Celsius. And for your ears, your feet, and hands, ito yung pinakamabilis lumameg. Sunblock. Siyempre, protect your skin. Now apply 30 minutes before the hike and then reapply along the trail when necessary. Najin for your water. Usually, I bring around 1 liter or 1.5 liter when I do the Ambangag Trail, but make sure that you are properly hydrated the day before your hike. 500 ml energy drink like a Gatorade or Pocari Sweat, you'll need those electrolytes. Tapos, I choose the purple because it's, you know, more, it's parang, it's friendlier to my tummy. It's not that acidic. That's how I feel about it. So purple for your Gatorade. Thermos for your hot and warm water. If you hike from the months of December to February, those will be the coldest months. And then you hike early in the morning, sometimes a hot warm water will really energize you. Trail food, a chocolate bar, energy bar, or my favorite, dried fruits like dried mango. What I do when I am at home, sa mga packaging niya, I put it in a Ziploc. In that way, there will be less trash na dadalin mo sa bundok. Sandwich. Remember, you will be trekking early in the morning, 12.30 a.m. You'll be having a short, light breakfast like a sandwich, noodles, bread, depending on you. But along the trail, once it reaches like 7 a.m., 9 a.m., you may get hungry. So a sandwich will be helpful. Tissue and sanitizer. Nature can call you anytime, especially on the trails. For Mount Pulag, may mga pit latrine, may mga toilet. And expect the worst. Now, I'll discourage you using wet wipes. The thing is, it's non-biodegradable. So, when you go to the toilet, may makita kang wet, wet wipes. Kadire eh. <laughs> so, do your part. If you need to use a toilet, better use you know, tissue and you know, sanitizer, alcohol. Umbrella. I always bring one when I do any hike in the Philippines. 
Sometimes, I find it better to use an umbrella than a raincoat, depending on the rain, depending on the drizzle. Personalized med kit. Have your own med kit. Don't rely on your guide, your team lead, or your organizer. It's best to have your own. First aid kit. Medyo malaki to kasi I lead expeditions. I always do bring this when I do any hike in the Philippines. Now, it's best for you to have your own first aid kit as well. A basic one. I'll be making one on a different episode. But you know, like band-aids, among others. Cell phone. Siyempre, automatic na yan. Extra plastic or dry sack. Of course, again, to waterproof your valuables. Or after the hike, you have a container for your dirty clothes and shoes. Utility knife. If you have one, well and good. Kung wala, it's perfectly okay. You don't need one to be able to hike Mount Pulag. Trek pole. While not necessarily needed, having one can help you make your hike to Mount Pulag easier and more smooth. Next is your power bank. Pwede ka malubat sa bundok since it's also a cold mountain. And also, it's nice to have one and not rely on the homestay for charging. For the homestay, they have electricity where you can charge your gadgets. However, brown out can occur or sobrang puno ng mga sockets and you'll find it hard to charge. So having a power bank will be helpful. Medical certificate. The medical certificate, that's the photo, should state that you are physically fit to undergo a physical activity like hiking Mount Pulag. It's best to have it here in the city or wherever you are before heading to Mount Pulag. While in Mount Pulag, there's a clinic that offers medical certificate services. It's located around 15 minutes away from the DENR Ranger Station. I don't suggest having it here because the queue may be long, your time may be spent so much by just waiting. Okay? After the medical certificate, you also need to present your vaccination card. There will be other stuff. These are things that you can leave in the homestay. Mga kailangan mo sa trip, but not necessarily needed when you hike Mount Pulag. First thing is an extra bag. This is where you'll be leaving your stuff. Next is a shirt. This is a shirt that I will be wearing after the hike going back to Manila. This shirt, Uyo, pareho ah. Yellow din. Ito yung ginamit ko on the way to Mount Pulag. Remember, on day one, you'll be heading to the DNR station. After that, you go to the homestay. Ito yung gagamitin ko. During the hike, I'll be using another shirt. Next would be, syempre, extra socks. A pair of pants. And then, I bring an extra one, either a pair of pants again, or shorts. So, if you look at it, dalawang pants, or isang pants, isang shorts. A towel, a quick dry towel, kasi sa homestay, may mga CR naman doon where you can have a shower. Sometimes may hot shower, but sometimes it's not working. Remember, do not expect so much. We are here to experience Mount Pulag, so don't bring your my arte attitude in the mountains. <laughs> Next would be your toiletries. Inside your toiletries, syempre, toothbrush, toothpaste, um... Sabon, shampoo. I, I, I place it here. Another one is a dry sack. You never know when you'll be needing it. Slippers. For this one, I bring a slipper that is easy to wear. Kumbaga, hindi siya yung may pa why. Kasi at times at the home seat, it can be cold wherein you will be needing to wear your socks. So if you have your socks, it's, you know, easy on. So this, type, this is the type of slippers I bring when I hike Mount Pulag. When you arrive at the homestay, you may have extra time. Sometimes you may spend that talking with your friends, the people you'll be meeting, and connecting to them. And sometimes you want to spend that time connecting to yourself. So a book and a pen and a notebook to write your thoughts may be helpful. After that, earplugs. Paminsan, you'll be having a roommate or the person beside your room may be snoring badly and may rapan ka matulog. Remember, you'll be waking early in the morning, so you might be sleeping by around 6, 7 p.m. right after dinner. Earplugs can be really helpful. Aside from that, next would be your travel pillow. This travel pillow, hindi mo ito gagamitin sa homestay. For the homestay, they will be providing a bed, a pillow, a blanket. Very simple, but ah, 
masarap matulog sa bundok. But for this travel pillow, this is what you will be using inside the van. I'll inflate it, tapos para mas maganda yung tulog mo. Kasi if, if you're coming from Manila, the travel time will be around 6 to 7 hours from Manila to the homestay. Sometimes even longer. So a travel pillow may cam in handy. There you have it, the things I wear and bring when I hike Mount Pulag. Did I miss anything? What do you bring? Please write them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Kobe Serial and your hike starts here.